fight fans descend on Vegas for Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. The winner gets this belt encrusted with 3,600 diamonds. We'll tell you why the bejeweled prize is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how the riches will flow on Saturday. I'm going to outbox this man at his own game. That's, that's how skilled and how much of a, of, a, of a different level I am to him. You're going out on your face or you're going out on your back? Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor are getting in their last jabs before what is expected to be the biggest money fight in boxing history. Mayweather will step into the ring on Saturday with a record of 49 and 0. This will be UFC champion McGregor's first pro boxing match. The trash talking Irishman is a huge underdog looking to prove the naysayers wrong. But win, lose, or draw, the combatants are expected to rake in more money than just about anyone would know what to do with. Mike Vaughn reports on mixed martial arts for USA Today. So, Mike, you're there in Vegas. How would you describe the atmosphere right now? Oh, there's definitely a buzz in the city. I mean, I've been down here for a lot of big fights, be it UFC, boxing, and you can tell this one, there's just a, uh, there's that buzz in the air that you can kind of feel. The people are talking when you're out on the strip, you know, having dinner and stuff, and it, it's definitely got that big fight feel that you can just really only describe when you're here. Now, of course, we're saying how much money is at stake here. Can you give us the dollar figures of who's going to take home what? Well, you can't say exactly yet because we'll only find out after the fight on Saturday just the way the Nevada State Athletic Commission works. They only release that stuff publicly uh, after the fact. And even then, we won't know for sure because a lot of these things depend on the pay-per-view buys, which we don't find out until you know well after the fact because they come in through all over the world all sites all, all types of different platforms you know you just order it traditionally through your TV but there's also you can order it through online uh, talking to the Showtime executives all the people really involved in this fight they say it's available in 225 countries so just the amount of people that could buy this fight you know it could possibly break the pay-per-view record which is obviously the the Floyd Mayweather fight with Manny Pacquiao back in May 2015 and that was 4.6 million buys and this is looking to possibly supersede that which is just absolutely incredible so I think these guys you know if we're just talking bare minimum these guys are walking away with at least nine figures each. Wow, nine figures. So like over a hundred million dollars for at, at least for, for Mayweather. But I don't think his opponent oh, is yeah. going to make quite so much. Uh, absolutely. Uh, so now why so much money? Like what is the attraction that is drawing so much business interest in this? It's just, I don't know, boxing is a crazy sport. You see these paydays. I mean, Conor McGregor uh, couldn't make this type of money in the UFC. It's just boxing, historically, you know, the, the top guys make absolutely incredible amount of money and Floyd Mayweather has historically been a really a nine-figure fighter over his past few fights against Manny Pacquiao he made you know upwards of 200 million dollars he'll probably make more for this fight but like I said it really depends on the amount of buys that come in because Floyd Mayweather he's just he is really a, a genius when it comes to this stuff he gets a little bit of everything you'll see him he doesn't only get you know a cut of the pay-per-view and his actual fight purse he negotiates himself into the you know closed circuit uh, streaming of this the concession, the literally everything that goes on in terms of people buying this, the merchandise, everything. So it's just the way uh, it kind of goes with Floyd Mayweather, how he's been able to negotiate his himself into the situation throughout his career. And then Conor McGregor comes into this, and he's really been able to kind of pick himself up off of that and be able to carry himself and make that type of money as well. But the thing that's interesting too with Conor, obviously he, like we said, he is a UFC fighter, the UFC champion. And really, the UFC kind of had to allow him to do this. They had to sign off and kind of make a deal of their own. So Connor, he will be making an extraordinary amount of money, but also the UFC gets a cut of this. So they really get to make some of that money as well. And that's really why this is happening, because the UFC more or less allowed him to make this fight happen, and they get some of that money from him as well. I'm curious how he got himself into this fight. You know, I'm thinking about the Canadian UFC stars, Joe St. Pierre, and, you know, how is it that, that Connor managed to land this primo spot on the on the bill tonight or for Saturday it's just it's almost hard to put into words Conor McGregor four years ago made his UFC debut and he was making ten thousand dollars to show ten thousand dollars to win walked away with you know twenty thousand dollars and 
prior to that, he was living in Ireland on social welfare, uh, just getting you know money from the government just to make it through life. And now, he four years later, he's just really done the unthinkable every step of the way. He's making, uh, you know, done extraordinary things inside the cage, which obviously, you know, above all, that's what you need to do to get yourself in this position you need to be successful in the fights and he's done that he's had the right fights at the right time he's won those fights and then he, of course his personality uh, you were playing the clips off the top of you know some of his quotes and stuff and he has just got that that really that star quality that you can't even really describe it just gravitates you in and he's been able to use that all along the way to get global interest and then it just really started by bringing it up in an interview, I believe it was on the, uh, the Conan show a few years ago, he asked him, would you be interested in you know, fighting Floyd Mayweather? And he said, I'd beat Floyd Mayweather like everyone else. And then it really, over the past few years, just took on a life of its own. And then somehow here we are, it's just something Conor McGregor's been able to do time and time again. He really puts these things out into the universe, that kind of law of attraction type of theory. And he says it and then he does it. It's, he, it's just really incredible to see. He must have been on, he may have been on social assistance, but he sounds like he's quite the businessman at this point. Who else is going to make money off this besides the actual fighters? Uh, everyone, <laughs> everyone involved, the the people running the the MGM uh, kind of property, T-Mobile Arena, the promoters, Showtime, the UFC, uh, of course their managers, uh, pretty much everyone involved is going to get a massive payday, and that's why this is happening. That's why they're calling it the money fight. It's not because everyone thinks it's going to be competitive, and they think you know Conor McGregor. I'm sure some people do believe Conor McGregor can win this fight, but really it is called the money fight for a reason because it's all about the money, and these guys are just going to walk away with insane paydays it's it's really unbelievable all right well thank you so much for being with us mike mike bond is yeah, no an mma reporter with usa today